Welcome to the Agent Program Initiate. I'll be waiting for you inside. Follow the lights, please. Majestic, isn't it? I'm Diana. I'll take you to your quarters. Someone likes to keep secrets. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the Handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well, that part is my job. Knowing your enemy is only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like, taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate? Antisocial? Apathetic and unresponsive? No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. Welcome to Advanced Mission Training. This operation originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter, infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. As previous tests have established, you exhibit an unusual level of enhanced sensory perception. Use your instinct now to sense the position and movement of people around you and identify your target. Uh, no, sir. I can't let you through here. We got heightened security. New orders. I'm sorry. Hmm. That mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly. You put on his clothes. <laughs> That's a first. Might just work, though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Be cautious, though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, Initiate. Right. They won't find him anytime soon. This particular uniform should get you access through the staff entrance. Just act normal. Hi there. Hold on. That mechanic with his back turned? He's what we call an enforcer. He knows his crew and he'll see right through your disguise. So stay out of his line of sight. Right. Now for the tricky part. Start by locating your target. 
Intel suggests he's around the bar area. You're in. Well done, Initiate. Curated with so much love and care. Huh. It's okay. You don't if waste any time, do you? Yeah. Like, I suppose on a boat like this, there's always something to fix. That is your target, Mr. Ritter. Unfortunately, the place is crawling with witnesses. I suggest you follow him, see if you can't isolate him. Hmm, to be yeah, expected. Be Ritter's private deck is off limits for mechanics. So, uh, if back. assimilation is the name of your game, You'll need a better disguise. Are you insane? <laughs> well, that's gonna leave a mark. Good thing we have insurance. Okay. Unlike mechanics, the cabin crew is allowed upstairs access. I see what you're getting at. Very unorthodox. I like it. When you're ready, just grab a hold. I stay for it, isn't it? Thank you. The target's private deck. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, but according to Intel, Ritter is another enforcer who picks his own cabin crew. So tread carefully. The target will spot you if you get too close. To eavesdrop on his conversation, try and find a way to blend in. Blending in, I see. Well done, Initiate. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. Well, not with that attitude, they don't. Mr. Norfolk, so good of you to fly down. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, no thank you. No, uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent about that rule. My sympathies. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please. Uh, lead the way. Nice impression. If we win, you can fix me a drink. Anyway, sounds like Ritter is about to have a private meeting with the gentleman in white. This could be useful. Hmm. Clearly, Ritter doesn't want to be disturbed. Try sneaking round the back. Saw this painting, an original Gorka. Thing is, I could have sworn it was stolen from the Stuyvesant's private collection in Boston a couple of years back. People get what they pay for, Mr. Norfolk, and you paid for the best. Here, I'll pull the files for you. Not my usual scene technology. Most of my clients are art collectors. So what is it anyway? Some type of reactor? Well, uh, not just a reactor, Mr. Ritter. It's more of a Almost revolution. there. Fifty years ahead of its time, maybe even more, maybe seventy-five or a hundred. I, I don't mean to boast, but whoever makes it to market first with this reactor will become the king of the world. Well, I'm rooting for you. Now is your chance. Use your silent pistol or the client will notice. Just a moment, Mr. Norfolk. Slip your mind. Your target is down. Now head calmly towards an exit. Look at all those stupid snobs. They don't even know what's going on. Well, they're stuffing their faces with caviar. The red car marks your exfiltration point. Simply push the button and you're in the clear.
Advanced mission training complete. And may I say, elegantly done, Initiate. I guess my hunch was right about you. I look forward to the final test. How did you know? I told you he had talent. His stats are off the charts. Such skills and reflexes. They could only be the result of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint. He could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one... Perhaps it would be better to just... Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. I just got word. Romania was a dead end. You're saying that he lied? Place is real enough. Deserted. But we found no trace that your man was ever there. Or anyone else, for that matter. Someone erased his steps. Hmm. We'll keep digging, of course. But frankly, it's as if the Earth just spat him out. Are you still determined? Does it matter? I was told there'd be no second chances. Don't believe everything you hear, Miss Burnwood. My decision stands. Very well. I'll be watching. The final test is based on an authentic 1979 mission. The high point of training Director Soda's career as an active agent. The target was Jasper Knight, a famous US chess master exposed as a Soviet spy. Soda's caught up with Knight at a military airfield in Cuba and eliminated him against all odds. This will be your objective as well. Now listen carefully. ICA exams aren't normally this difficult. Not only was the airfield a virtual fortress, but he even added additional guards. Sodas wants you to fail. He considers you a threat, and this way, your unfortunate exit from the program won't raise any eyebrows. Well, if he thinks we're bowing out, he is sorely mistaken. Good luck, Initiate. out the safety protocol for the jet. Eh, it's on the clipboard. Look, we really have to do this, all things considered. We're putting a tasty fake egghead inside a Mach 3 fighter jet. Yeah, I kind of think we do. I get it, I get it. Safety first and all that. I don't care which one of you does it, it's mandatory. Just pick the box and get it done. Just stay back. Let the big boys handle this, okay? Right on. It doesn't make sense. The, the man is like a sitting duck, staying in Cuba. It's only a matter of time before Langley catches up with them. If I was Knight, I'd be long gone. That was the plan. Then Knight pulls a fast one. Now he wants his girlfriend to go with him across the curtain. Naturally, Kremlin says no, wasn't part of the agreement. Knight says he's got documents on the other Soviet spies in the US. Documents that'll leak into the wrong hands in case anything happens to him or his girlfriend.
to see you, man. Jesper Knight, we gotta go over the safety protocol. Follow me, please. Ugh. Oh, must we really? Okay, Mr. Knight. Climb in the cockpit, please. Uh, all right. Easy. One, one step at a time. Step one. Strap yourself in. In. Step two, locate the ejector seat handle. Uh, yes, I found it. Step three, pull the ejector seat handle. Uh, right. Here it goes. Pull. down. You did it. Now head towards an exit. My god, did that just happen? That shit was definitely not part of the plan. Hey, nice threads, buddy. Congratulations, Agent. You are cleared for field duty. I hope you know what you just did. The chopper leaves at dawn. Now get out of my sight. So what happens now? You go back into the world. Disappear, stay on your own and on the move. When we need you, we will contact you. And so does. He played his hand and he lost. He cannot touch us now. <laughs> Still, I can't believe we beat him at his own game. If you know your enemy. <laughs> Quite right.
I should tell you, the trail went dead after Romania. Our team found no records of any kind, no name, nothing. I think they called me 47. That's not a name. So make it one. All right. Agent 47. Good evening, 47. Your destination is the Paris Fashion Show by Sanguine, one of Europe's leading couture brands. Your targets are Sanguine owner Viktor Novikov, a former oligarch turned fashion mogul, and his partner Dahlia Margolis, a retired supermodel, an iconic power couple on the global fashion scene, and two of the most dangerous people in the world. Novikov and Margolis are in fact the ringleaders of Iago, an enigmatic spy ring that deals in the global elite's most valuable secrets. Unscrupulous and opportunistic, Iago has caused disastrous security leaks all over the globe. When Crimean separatists caused a deadly meltdown at the Odessa nuclear power plant, Iago gave them access to the plant security network. And when the Delgado drug cartel shot down the plane of President Hernandez and his family, Iago provided the classified flight plans. Now Novikov and Mogolis have obtained a knock list of British undercover agents, which they plan to sell at a secret Iago auction during the Sanguine show. So our client, MI6, need us to stop the ringleaders before the knock list ends up in the wrong hands. The Sanguine show will be swarming with security, and Viktor Novikov will be the focus of everyone's attention. But despite his posturing, he is merely the money man. The real target is Dahlia Margolis. Beautiful and brilliant, she is a master manipulator and the true brains behind Iago. Two targets, a highly public event. At first glance, an impossible task. Then again, I do know how you love a challenge. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Paris 47. The show is just about to start. This is the red carpet event of the season and the guest list is a veritable who's who of the global fashion elite. You will find Viktor Novikov basking in the spotlight, while Dahlia Margolis hosts the heavily guarded auction on the second floor for a group of Iago's top customers. Now, event security will keep a watchful eye on any suspicious activity, but I trust your timeless look shall fit right in. Good luck, 47.
welcome, sir. Enjoy the show. Pleasure as always. Uh, make sure to join Dahlia and I for a drink later. There's someone we would like you to meet. Now, uh, hold on. He's what? If you'll excuse me, Congressman, urgent matter. Do enjoy your evening. Goddamn artists. What the hell is he up to now? He's like a, like a Greek god or something, you know? I can't believe he's actually here, you know? Like in the same room as us. Helmut Kruger's been my role model since college. Well, so, if he kisses your hand, will you ever wash it again? Yeah, yeah, I saw you blush earlier when you put on his makeup. Oh, what can I say? I'm human. Oh, wow, speaking of, that guy looks a lot like Helmut Kruger. Huh, yeah. Uncanny. hardly predict a pile-up on the freeway, could we? So you have a spot in mind, or...? Okay, fine. Wait in the lounge. Is there a problem? Novikov is busy. He told us to stay put and enjoy ourselves. One of his security staff will come fetch us. He's ready. Tell you where we're going? The pavilion, Northwest Gardens. That it was away from crying.
Walker. Mr. Novikov will see you now. I will escort you to the rendezvous point. Ah, great. Thank you. Lead the way. Escorting Max Decker. Mr. Novikov's order. Been expecting you. Go ahead. Mr. Novikov, I'm at the pavilion. We did wait. Then your guide took us to meet you here, so which is it? No, security guy. Wore a uniform. Alright, fine. See you soon. He's coming. Our parking doesn't expire. So, uh, I, I gotta ask, Mr. Deputy. Section Chief Commodore. Your handiwork? Look at these hands. I'm a bureaucrat, Carson. I don't go around staging perfect suicides. No, I dare say young Kamarov got a taste of Viktor Novikov. Ask me, he had it coming anyway. Nobody likes an overachiever. In the file. Must be pretty important for Novikov to cop up seven digits. It's in it. Every bit of dirty intel the FSB ever collected on him. Our friend Novikov wasn't always in fashion, Carson. But the public has a short memory span. Uh, and now he's tying up loose ends. Securing his legacy and our retirement plans. Mr. Decker, how are things at the office? That's 91 all over again. Kamarov is found dead, gun in hand, office locked from the inside. In his safe, evidence that he was leaking state secrets to Langley. An FSB section chief, Kremlin's golden boy, a CIA spy. <laughs> Look, I don't know who you hired to pull this off, but I want his number. Trust me. You don't. 
the case file, please. Right, right. Of course. Last and only copy. There was an unfortunate server room fire at HQ. Misery loves company. Oh, Mr. Decker. <laughs> you know, I do believe this is going to be the start of a beautiful friendship. The money's being wired to your account. Do I need to call my guy in Switzerland? <laughs> Why? Haven't you heard? I am an honest businessman. Do svidania, Mr. Decker. <sighs> well, that's that. Take a stroll, would you, Kurt? I'd like to savor the moment. You sure that's wise, sir? I'll be fine. Come cheap, but it was damn well worth it. Victor, old boy, you're walking on water. Good work, 47. Time to find Dahlia Margolis. Dahlia? Helmut? Uh, not yet. I, I go on in a few cycles, I think. I have. I think I'm in, but I want to be clear on a few details. Fine. Dahlia, helmet here. Remind me again, where were you supposed to meet? Second floor, Voltaire Suite, next to the auction. Got it. You want me to drop by now, or...? No, no, it's essential that you walk the runway. Do the job, then come see me right away. And I heard these guys talking about an auction or something up on the second floor. What the hell is that about? Uh, it's probably some kind of charity that weighs us with our rich people. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Mr. Kruger, need a touch-up, I see. No problem, just sit back and relax. We won't take a second. Appreciate it. Thanks. 
Because you want to be nice and clear, it's a sin to say what she's saying. If Miss Malewa gets hurt too, don't you think people will have to die? You are all set, Mr. Kruger. Good work. Wow, thanks, Mr. Kruger. Break a leg. One last. It's all most of these buffoons will remember anyway. Perfect timing. Awesome, Mr. Kruger. Wow, a real supermodel. Welcome, sir. Mr. Jordan. Thank you. Helmut Kruger. Yes. Mr. Kruger. Final bid. Helmut. Love the outfit. Please, have a seat. So, Helmut, you accept my offer? I'm in. What's the job? Straight to the point. I like it. As it happens, I have the perfect assignment for you. Jessica Highmore. Highmore Consulting. The very same. That's why I wanted you in the show, so Jessica would notice you. Now, I want you to go to New York, seek out Jessica, and do what you do best. The girl is bright, young, beautiful, and should be right up your alley. And yet she's not the mark. My, you do catch on fast. No, that would be her father, CEO John Highmore. Jessica is your way in. Befriend him, get his trust. Highmore Consulting is planning a merger. I want to know with whom and at what price. All right. Consider it done. And that's for you. Keep it on you at all times. Mm, last resort. Cyanide. Good choice. <sighs> We've got trouble. Yes? Uh, well, it's a little late now. Both targets are down. Great work. Now head towards an exit.
How was Moscow? Kamarov is gone. I set him up as a Langley spy. It's quite the scandal at the FSB. His death will not be investigated. Your turn. Very well. The secrets of the global elite. Five years of work. Everything we've collected. This thing makes WikiLeaks look like a gossip rag. The pen beats the sword, huh? I have found that whoever wields the sword decides who holds the pen. Smile, Victor. Your reputation is safe. Now run along. I'm sure you have pretty dresses to attend to. Victor. Good luck with the show. I have a feeling it's going to be the one you'll be remembered for. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the coastal town of Sapienza, also known as the jewel of the Amalfi Coast. Your target is a former client of ours, Silvio Caruso, a brilliant but troubled bioengineer employed by the Ether Biotech Corporation. Renowned for his early stem cell research, Caruso is now reportedly working on a far more disturbing project, a DNA-specific virus able to infect anyone anywhere in the world. Imagine a bullet, fired in any direction, passing through countless bodies without inflicting harm, invisible and undetectable until it strikes its target. A world of armchair assassins killing with impunity. This is what awaits us, unless Caruso is stopped. Our client, one of Ether's major private stockholders, wants the project cancelled on ethical grounds, but without destroying the company in the process. She has asked us to eliminate Silvio Caruso and destroy the yet unfinished virus prototype. You will also need to deal with Caruso's lab head, Francesca DeSantis, a high-level Ether employee and cutthroat corporate climber who holds intimate knowledge of Caruso's research and could potentially carry on in his place. This is no ordinary contract, 47. Caruso's virus is a serious threat to our craft and trade, not to mention our core ideals. So failure is not an option. I'll leave you to prepare. Welcome to Sapienza 47. Silvio Caruso's family home is right across the square. The bioengineer suffers from acute travel phobia, so the Ether Corporation has installed a state-of-the-art field laboratory somewhere below ground. Expect security levels to rise as you get closer to the virus. Good luck, 47. and you're asked to work. Pronto. It's almost lunchtime. Okay. Of course. You don't get it. Are you kidding me? I'll be right back. <sighs> Why do I keep doing this? I told Mother I wasn't going to be his crutch anymore. <sighs> Good for nothing, deadbeat loser. I will cook 
Ragu. Brisket, so one kilo. Dr. Lafayette speaking. Just so, I'm outside Villa Caruso now, enjoying a coffee in the sun. Lovely town. So, anything I should know about Dr. Caruso before our first session? I was briefed on his anxiety attacks, his genophobia. Mm, very well. Don't you worry. Caruso is not the first troubled genius I have turned around. Just look at Jordan Cross. I'll have young Silvio calm and serene in no time. And you as well. Just, just hear me out, okay? This is nothing like last time. The other night, I was out walking Fidel, and I see this convoy of black trucks with the Ether logo. No headlights or anything. Coming up the coastal road towards Villa Caruso. Yeah, okay, Caruso works for Ether. He's got some kind of home laboratory. But I'm sure he needs chemicals and dry ice. Really dry ice? That's all I remember from high school physics with. What's your point? How about the hazmat suit? The hazmat? What are you talking about? I hid in bushes, and I caught a glimpse of a bio suit, like the ones you see in those contagions. No places any to spend the winter? Hmm. Really? A bio suit? What the hell are they 
naked in there. Well, I'll bet you a beer. It's not beauty products. Yeah, man. I gotta talk to my brother about this. He's a, he's a journalist. There might be a story here. Oh, I think so. I guess my stories aren't so bad after all, are they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't milk it. Actually, this oh, huh. that's inconvenient. Oh boy. Uh, 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 are you okay? You want a glass of soda water or spritzer or something? get their way. Dr. Oscar Lafayette, here to see Mr. Caruso. This will be over in no time. Thanks, Thank you. Please proceed. Right What's up, Doc? Oscar Lafayette. I have an appointment with Mr. Caruso. Ah, yes. Senor Caruso has been informed of your arrival. Please, follow me. I shall take you to his quarters. May I say, it is well that you are here, Doctor. The Master has not been himself lately. I... well... I only hope you are as good as they say. Don't worry. I am. Doctor, good to see you. Nice day, Doc. Senor Caruso's private quarters. I will be downstairs if needed. Best of luck.
the renowned Dr. Oscar Lafayette. Mr. Caruso, shall we begin? If you insist. So, Ether sends a specialist to rummage through my brain. They must think I'm losing it again. Relax. Start by telling me what's on your mind. Isn't it obvious? I'm under a lot of pressure. Work. Mother died last year. Stress manifests itself in the strangest ways, I am told. Your mother, Isabella, would you like to talk about her? Look, I... I know what you're driving at. My neuroses, my anxiety, my social phobias, not the least my pathological fear of women. It's all deeply rooted. Go on. I had a girlfriend, you know, in high school. Pretty, too. Popular. And I was shy, bookish. It shouldn't have worked. Not outside those stupid teen dramedies. But it did, for a short while anyway. Then Mother decided that Emilio wasn't a good influence on me. So she paid the gardener's son to seduce her. He was 20, roguish, rode a motorcycle. Mother, she, she had pictures taken showed them to me on prom night. Romantic love is fleeting, she said. Only a mother's love endures. What... what do you want me to say? I loved my mother. I hated my mother. Same as everybody else. Isabella bullied you. Shamed and belittled you. Made you feel like a failure. All to keep you, her last and loyal son, from ever leaving too. Stop! It. I don't want to hear it. Your mother was a monster. Is that not why you killed her? What? How dare you? You couldn't breathe. She smothered you. So you smothered her. Is that how it happened? Yes! All right. I did it. I did it. Are you happy now? Is that supposed to be cathartic? Well, guess again, Doctor. Back to the drawing board. I think we have made some excellent progress. Same time tomorrow? Good day, Mr. Caruso. Francesca DeSantis. Welcome, Doctor. Dr. Lafayette.
Chef Magella. I'm in the kitchen. Sorry, I'm late. You're damn right you are. Never mind. Yeah, you can finish this tomato sauce. Maybe you can get it right. I seem to be jinxed. When you're done, bring the dinner. Sure thing, boss. I'll give it some love. Francesca. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm not the one who calls. I did say that, but uh, hey, the guy can change. So, did you get my message? Music to my ears. We'll meet up in your room, okay? I'll call you as soon as Caruso lets me off the hook. He's unusually patient today. No, please. Surprise me. Ciao, Bella. It's me. Roberto, Silvio let you off early? I want us to meet. Your room. Mm, I should say no. But you won't. See you soon.
Candles, my favorite. You are impossible, Roberto. Look, don't talk. Just listen for a second. I like you, Roberto. You're a lot of fun, and I could even see this. I, I, under the right circumstances, we... <sighs> the situation? It's complicated. You see, Ether, the company I work for, they didn't just send me here to assist Caruso. They sent me here to spy on him. They fear he is becoming a liability. A threat, even. And from what I have seen so far, I think they might be right. This could be dangerous, and I thought you deserved to know. So, <laughs> well, now you know. Hmm. My bosses. They say you are a distraction, and they want me to break it off. So, why don't you give me a good reason not to? What is it? I'm in the middle of some... The data stream. Okay, I'll be right there. Hmm. Sorry, Roberto. To be continued, I'm sure. Entering the Ether Lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach. Two targets down. Now destroy the virus. Field lab. You made it. The virus prototype will be close by. Look for some type of quarantine unit.
Yeah, so this is where Ms. DeSantis keeps all the research data. Keeps this stuff pretty close to her chest. Why? We all signed an NDA the size of a phone. Yeah, well, there was... Warning, dangerous compound. Warning, dangerous compound. Processing. Test sample incompatible. The security is in the dark about the incident. A few at the company knew about the virus. Not even the board. Must have been someone at the lab. I understand. I'll get to the bottom of this. <sighs> Boss is unhappy. I followed you from Italy. I guess when you're invisible, you stop looking over your shoulder. You did this. Iago exposed you. ICA did the heavy lifting. I just pulled some strings. Yeah, you're mine. How do you expect... I play dirty. That's how you defeat a stronger opponent. You strike from behind. Now give me the key. You have a family? Trust me, if there's a weakness, Providence will find it. Take my chances. The key. Fine. Won't do you much good. It's funny. Cobb said the same thing. Thank you, messenger. Don't. I just killed you. And where even? Good afternoon, 47. 
Your destination is Marrakesh, Morocco, where civil riots are looming. Your targets are private banker Klaus Strandberg and army general Reza Zedan, two of the conspirators in a sinister plot to overthrow Morocco's fragile government. Strandberg, a former bank CEO who stole billions of dollars worth of savings from the Moroccan people, was facing trial for investment fraud. But early this morning, a band of heavily armed mercenaries freed Strandberg from his prison transport, resulting in the death of several police officers. Strandberg now takes refuge at his native Swedish consulate, in front of which crowds of angry protesters have gathered, demanding his handover to Moroccan authorities. We believe General Zaydan orchestrated Strandberg's escape to infuriate the public and spark nationwide riots, allowing Zaydan to impose martial law. Operating out of a field HQ at a nearby abandoned school, he will no doubt use the riots to depict the Rabat government as weak and inept, and persuade the general staff to support a fully-fledged military coup in the name of national security. Our client, building contractor Hamilton Lowe, who stands to lose a fortune in government contracts, has hired us to prevent the coup d'etat. To do so, you need to paralyze Zidane's rebel forces and prevent the riots from escalating further, hence the double contract. This is quite the political powder cake, 47, so be careful. The fate of a nation is at stake. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Marrakesh, 47. The situation grows more tense by the minute. The consulate is under lockdown. But the protests are only a stone throw away from full-blown riots, and Zaydan won't hesitate to unleash his troops. So whatever you're planning, time is of the essence. Good luck, 47. Sugar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is one of those times. Oh, so where is this guy anyway? He'll be here. And you, have a banana for Christ's sake. Look, 
sir. I'm at the lobby checking out, and I hear this big shot producer from GNN on the phone with an agency, desperate to get a cameraman for an interview with Claus Hugo Strandberg. Strandberg, the, the banker. Do you ever watch the news? Anyway, I tap him on the back, show him my press pass, and the guy is so relieved that he just paid me a month's salary up front. Of course I'm not gonna do it. There's no way I'm getting near that place. Besides, I've got all this nice free money, and the dunce doesn't even know my real name. <laughs> Would you believe I said my name is Finley? Right, so I'm at this pizza place down near the bazaar. Whenever you can sneak out, come and join me, okay? Smoke is on me. Hey, mister. How's it going?
getting some good shots. Your guy's clearly late. Maybe he just took the money and made a dash for it, huh? Ah, uh, he'll be here. I just got stuck in traffic or something. Or the protesters found out where he was going and beat him to death. Uh, just worry about what to ask Strongberg, okay, Pam? Whole city wants to string him up and he's in there doing the deal. Guess you play the hand you're dealt. Ugh, finally. Where have you been? Sorry, the streets aren't safe. of any crime. So, we're not allowed to ask directly about the location of the seven billion. Stick to the facts. I got it. The accusations, the trial, uh, Stromberg's dramatic breakout. You know, get his side of the story. Title. I got this. Right. And you, aim and shoot. This is it, guys. They won. You made it. Most impressive, 47. Shots, okay? Now to locate Klaus Strandberg. Oh, uh, Pam Kingsley, GNN News. My name is Pearson. Mr. Strandberg is ready for you. Follow me, please. I must say I was surprised that Consul Olander authorized this interview. Adding fuel to the fire, I should think. But that is not my call. Nevertheless, you must understand that the building is on high alert. If the situation evolves, you will be evacuated without protest, yes? Well, let's just hope it doesn't come to that, Ms. Pearson. Hi. You made it. Come on in. Come in, good. Pam Kingsley, a pleasure. Mm. I watch your show all the time. You're even more lovely in the flesh. <laughs> and this is... Uh, Tyler Clark, producer. And this is our cameraman, Finway. Tyler and Finley. Splendid. Well, <clears throat> let's do this, shall we? Where do you want me? Uh, the light is nice over here. Not that I want to tell you boys how to do your jobs, good heavens. 
Well, right here is fine, Mr. Stramberg. Sit down, make yourself comfortable, and we'll be ready in no time. Oh, no, no, please, please. Call me Klaus. Okay, I think we're set. Roll when you're ready. Camera rolling. Hey, when you got a sec, think you could do something about the lights? Upstairs somewhere? Thanks, bud. Okay, we're ready if you are, Mr. Stanley. Access to the consulate and first row seats for the interview. Nicely done, 47. Nice camera, good quality. from the Moroccan people? Why not? An opportunity presented itself, and I seized it. Again, all within the confines of the law. So, uh, what should I apologize for? Hmm? Being a capitalist? <laughs> Perhaps the term has fallen out of favor with your middle-class viewers, Miss Kingsley, but me? I bear that brand proudly. Capital C. If you are innocent, in the eyes of the law, why did violent assailants spring you from police custody this morning, claiming the lives of six police officers? Well, that I'm afraid I cannot answer. Some philanthropist, uh, sympathetic to my ordeal, no doubt. I appreciate the gesture, but the approach was somewhat excessive, really quite unnecessary. I would have walked free eventually, once justice had run its due course. Mr. Stramberg, hundreds are gathered outside this very building, howling for your blood. Is there anything you wish to say to them? Um, two little words. Fuck you. Pam, we need to call... Mr. Stramberg, hundreds... You're gonna be okay. Target down. Next up, Razor Zaydan. Okay.
got one left. I'll go find a spot and then we head back to the school. How's that? Sure, we'll wait. Jeez, what does General Zayden want? Paper the whole city with these things? Yeah, you know what they say. The bigger the lie, the more people will believe it. Yeah, I don't know. What if the real Crystal Dawn finds out? They won't look too kindly on us creating revolutions in their name. It's fraud. They're a terrorist organization. Who are they gonna complain to? <laughs> um, us? Look, if they do find out, you and me are the far bottom of the very long. I'm totally into Crystal Dawn. Done. Let's head back. Yeah, why not? I'm out anyway. flowers in the rifle barrels. Yeah, well, keep this shit up and somebody will. Darling, I'm cooking a lamb roast, really juicy meat. They say it's never had anything to eat but milk. But I'm out of black pepper and ginger. Can you help me out? Don't read everything you see in the press, huh? Time. Go straight to the printing room. General Zayden has an announcement to make. Hey, tell Michael in the print shop to stop texting my. Yo, what's up, print boy? General Zayden keeps coming down here to check on the prisoner. I hear they were close. So, what'd he do, poor bastard? The way I heard it, his brother was one of the police who got killed.
what did he do? Prisoner. Uh, never you mind. General Zayden says the man is traitor. Attention, everyone! You men have done a fine job so far. Crystal Dawn are on everyone's yeah, why don't you steps. go print something? That is why we are expanding the campaign to the other city districts and suburbs. This means there will be no breaks, not until the job's done. So whatever you do, just keep those printers running. Hey, uh, printer. Gets down. Now head towards an exit.
compromised. But I... I don't understand. There is no sign of forced entry, no alarms, nothing. One of my people has gone missing in Johannesburg. A key bearer. I wish I'd been informed. Still, the system demands two keys, and the rest are all accounted for. Except for your late predecessors. Cobb? But... His plane went down over the Pacific. It was an accident. Such was the conclusion at the time. Yes. People die, Mr. Fannin. Happens all the time, even to us. It seems like a conspiracy. Probably isn't. And yet, the failed coup in Morocco, the ether virus. Someone knows about us. There was a pattern and I failed to see it. Providence is under attack. <clears throat> How much was there? Money. <laughs> Not money, Mr. Fennin. Information on all of our assets and operatives, like you. Take a trench, Director, and make it a deep one, because none of you are safe anymore. Good morning, 47. Your destination is the Himapan Luxury Hotel Resort on the Chow Praia River, just outside Bangkok. Your main target is Jordan Cross, the lead singer of The Class, a renowned indie rock outfit recording their highly anticipated sophomore album. But this millennial poster boy harbors a dark secret. One year ago, promising young actress Hannah Highmore fell to her death from Cross's penthouse loft in Dumbo, New York. According to the police, Miss Highmore's death was a tragic accident, but her parents remain unconvinced. They firmly believe that Cross murdered Hannah and only escaped justice due to the power and influence of his father, billionaire media mogul Thomas Cross. A secondary target, Ken Morgan, corporate fixer and attorney to the Cross family, is also staying at the hotel. Cunning and unscrupulous, Morgan was a key agent in the cover-up of Hannah Highmore's murder and Jordan Cross's subsequent acquittal. The Highmores understandably want retribution, and while the system may be powerless, ICA is anything but. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Bangkok 47. Ken Morgan has booked the Queen Suite, but is yet to check in. You will find him in and around the restaurant. Oddly enough, Jordan Cross seems completely unaware of his presence. Cross and the class have set up a recording studio in the Emperor's Suite on the third floor. Private security around Cross and his entourage is highly capable. Still, I'm sure you can find your way into his inner circle. After all, today is Jordan Cross's 27th birthday. The age when rock stars die. Good luck, 47. Checking in. Name's Tobias Weeper. Thank you so much, sir. Here's your key card. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Welcome to the Himapan Hotel. Please follow me. I hope you'll enjoy your stay. Lead the way. Sir, please. This way. Not that I care about money, of course. But that's just my problem. Check. Gotcha.
Please, sir, follow me. I'll take you to your room. There goes my next ex-husband. Uh, this is your room. You can always let reception know if there's anything you need. my next ex-husband, <laughs> Jackie Carrington. Mm. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, and don't mind Julian, he's just leaving. Duh. Be there in five. So, uh, when is Dexy Barrett coming to pick me up? I don't know, I just carry the heavy stuff, man. I mean, head up to the studio yourself if you want. No, no, I don't want to seem pushy. I'll, I'll wait. Oh, she didn't forget. Hey, stay safe out there. There's a problem with the toilet. Take care of it. Now. Hello, sir. You called the reception, sir? Ah, uh, I am here to take care of the toilet, sir. I'm very sorry about that. It's really highly unusual. Smile for that extra tip. Whoa, whoa, relax, Chief. I got it covered, okay? Besides, even at very large doses, this compound, it's not lethal for humans. I mean, okay, yeah, sure, it'd knock you out for a bit. 
I, yeah, I'd give you a headache, probably, but, uh, I mean, that's about it. Imagine the lawsuits. Whoa, not gonna happen, Chief. Believe it or not, I've done this before. You. I suppose you wish to inspect the penthouse very well. I'll make the call, but I'm warning you, no slip-ups. Especially not with young Master Cross on his way down. If any of those toxins get into the ventilation system, you could gas the whole atrium. Understood, ma'am. Yes, hello, this is the manager. I am so sorry to disturb... Indeed, yes, the pest exterminator. Uh, he needs to inspect the Emperor's suite now. Could I possibly ask you and your team to... Oh, excellent. Thank you. Please join us in the atrium for refreshments. I promise it won't take long. Okay, bye. Thank you. Why are you still here? I recognize you. You're Ken Morgan. Yeah, yeah, they call you the Brick, right? Keith McKenzie, U.S. Attorney's Office, South District. Keith? I saw you at the Chelsea Whitmore trial. Your strategy was the brassiest thing I've ever seen. The girl burned a homeless man alive and framed her cheerleading rival, and you got her off on affluenza charges? Stroke of genius, sir. I see. You're, um... I'm not going to give me the speech about how I'm part of the problem. About uh, how you will never embrace the private sector because you're fighting the good fight. And uh, well, justice is more important than money. Shit, no. The U.S. Attorney's Office is just a stepping stone to me. You don't buy a place in the Hamptons on a state salary. Hmm. Uh, Keith, was it? Uh, give my office a call. Morgan, Yates, and Cole. We... 
may have something for you. Thank you, sir. Will do. Mr. Morgan, sir. When can I have my suite? Please accept my heartfelt apology for the mishap earlier. The Queen Suite is ready for you. Follow me. Well, that was relatively fast. Very well. Lead the way. Jordan, my boy. Fancy seeing you here. Cut the shit, Morgan. Did he send you here? Huh? Did my father send you here to spy on me? <laughs> I knew it. I knew this would happen. Are you two and Chloe? You my father's lap dog, too? Oh, and you, Morgan, you flabby sycophant. What's in it for you? This old vampire grooving you for CEO? Is that why you let him treat you like his two-bit errand boy? Huh? Where's your silver tongue now? Jordan, if you will just calm down, I think I can explain. Things are not this black and white. What do you say we stop making a scene and continue this conversation in my suite? This better be good. My air conditioning's making strange noises. Keep your head up, working man. All right, get out. This is between myself and Master Cross. Uh, um, are you sure that's wise, sir? Do it, Otis. Mr. Morgan. Okay, start talking, Morgan. I will tell you the truth. You must understand. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. Your father was merely being sagacious. What are you babbling about? Hannah Highmore's death tape. Proverbial smoking gun that you so precariously kept for yourself instead of destroying the evidence. That's why I'm here. Oh, Dixie. Don't be too hard on Miss Barrett. Everyone has a price, and it is usually lower than you'd think. We did not mean to use it, of course. Not unless you left your father no choice. Oh, you wouldn't dare. 
You covered it up. I'll take you down with me, all right? You and my dad. Your father and I acted in good faith. How were we to know that Dexy Barrett helped you tamper with the crime scene, made it look like an accident? It's Miss Barrett you call for tape, not your father. The bribes and the hush money all came from offshore accounts in your name. Don't bullshit me, Jordan. You and I are in very different leagues. Target down. Now on to Jordan Cross. Dad? Please call me. It, it happened again. Ah, well, looking back, I guess we really hadn't figured out how to manage the user interface, but, you know, we were learning and we were now. Hi there. How are you, sir? Hey, take it up with the hotel manager. I'm sure she'll explain it to you. Big letters. What's up? Social media. Hey, you check. You want to have a peek inside? Why? That's Dexy Barrett's room. Exactly. I just want to see what it's like. You know, she.
know their names. Why, why, why was it just playing? What would be the purpose? What would what? Black Man, some sick game. What if I just smashed the drive now? Who are you? That's not the right question. Hi, Morris. Whatever they're paying you, I will double it, okay? It doesn't work that way. Not here. So wait, 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 wait. I didn't mean to. You know? I was drunk. I, I, I snapped. In the window, I didn't think. But it happened. So do I deserve to die because I made some stupid mistake? Or because I tried to get away with it? Either way, it won't make a difference. Please, please, don't, don't, man, okay? Just, just, just don't. You'll regret it, okay? Look, I'm only an artist, all right? Why don't you go kill some real bad guys? Oh, come, come on, come on, okay? Think, all right? Do you really think my father's gonna let this slide? No, he, he'll know, right? He'll find you, okay? And when he does, you'll see what kind of man he is, okay? you see what I see. <laughs> Please, man. Say something. Okay, I, wa I want to fix this. Look, look, just, just tell me what I can do. Okay. A contract is a contract. Both targets down. Now head towards an exit. that way.
discovered earlier this evening, slain by multiple gunshot wounds. Cross was scandalously kidnapped this morning at the funeral of his only son, the claim of musician Jordan Cross. A notorious recluse, Thomas Cross was not less than the Roman Island in years, and authorities are now looking into a connection between the two deaths. stripped clean within hours of the kidnapping. Someone wanted the son dead to lure out the father. Someone smart enough to stay in the shadows while we did the wet work and the High Moors picked up the check. A shadow client. Someone got rich. The contract was just. That was a sound problem. I know you don't care about politics, 47. But ICA is neutral, or as has been. Can't allow ourselves to be manipulated. Besides... It's happened before. Italy. Morocco. Paris. All our clients got their intel the same way. Anonymous tips from a hidden source. Each contract perfectly legit, yet part of a grander design. see the pattern. Somebody does. The board has asked us to chase down this shadow client, and our analysts are closing in as we speak. I know that tone. Someone's playing a game, 47. The question is, against whom? We have a lead on the Shadow Client. ICA White Hats have traced the anonymous data received by our clients to one Olivia Hall, brilliant young hacktivist and suspect in a dozen cases of cyber vandalism. Using onion routing with state-of-the-art encryption, Hall went to a lot of trouble to stay untraceable. She is good, but we are better. Her digital trail has led us to a remote farm in Colorado, where satellite footage has revealed what appears to be the training camp for a private militia, led by an already registered target, Sean Rose, Australian environmental terrorist and explosives expert wanted for a series of public bombings. Rose was spotted near the scene of Thomas Cross's kidnapping, which makes him our prime suspect for the shadow client. Spurred by Eric Soders, the ICA board of directors has asked us to infiltrate the farm and eliminate Sean Rose, along with three other prominent militia members. Ezra Berg, retired Mossad interrogator. Penelope Graves, former Interpol anti-terror analyst, and finally, Maya Parvati, former assassin and gunrunner for the Tamil Tigers. I'll be honest with you, 47. I consider Eric Soda's reasoning hasty and ill-advised. Now, we cannot go against the wishes of the board, but we can conduct our own investigation. Whether a direct threat to the ICA or not, we need to know the Shadow Client's true agenda. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Colorado, 47. The militia has taken up HQ at an old apricot farm and appear to be training for a series of coordinated strikes, ranging from cyber attacks to full-blown guerrilla warfare. The Shadow Client appears to unite specialists and radicals from all over the map. Mercenaries and terrorists, hackers and spies joined by an unknown common cause. Satellite scans indicate that the command room is below ground inside an old tornado shelter. Only Rose appears to have access, however, so to get inside, you will need to get creative. This environment is hostile and highly alert, so tread carefully. Good luck, 47. Thank you. 
freak, freak in the mask. What the hell are you talking about? I was just at the security station watching the feeds. There's this creepy guy interrogating the hostage. He wears like a 3D printed mask. Oh, yeah, that must be Bird. Oh, yeah, man, his interrogation techniques, totally just out of the box stuff. Like truth serums, drugs, that kind of thing. But uh, none of the rough stuff. Now, they don't like to mark up their patients, so to speak. Those Mossad boys like things clean and efficient. Bird. Ezra Bird? Yeah. Yeah, man, I've heard of him. Chemical interrogation expert. I guess it's his makeshift lab they've set up. Word is he can make anyone crack. Oh, man, you don't know what happened. I mean, the, the stuff this guy's into, get this. Drug-induced hypnosis, memory wipes, subliminal mind control. Shit's like witchcraft. Glad I'm not the prisoner. Christ, this next-gen warfare makes my head spin. You know, just point me in a direction and tell me who to shoot, eh? Oh, no, 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 no. You'll get to shoot. Don't worry, there'll be plenty of them. Well, whatever Bert's up to, he better work fast. Rose is itching for some Q&A. Let's see. Charge is too weak. Mix another batch of gel. This time, add another 5% of nitroglycerin. Sure thing, Sean. I need the mixture to be precise. The contents of the safe cannot be damaged. When you're done, text me. And I'll come by and check you haven't created something that will blow us all to kingdom come. That is all. No way. Oh, sir. Tism by fire, man. <laughs> You're telling me. I'm impressed. Uh, of course, you don't hold a candle to Maya Parvati, the training director. Yeah, I was wondering about her. Indian? Sri Lankan. Get this. She used to be an assassin and gun runner for the Tamil Tigers. Her father was one of their leaders. Then, when the Tigers disbanded in 09, Parvati took work as a freelance pirate in the South China Sea. For... guess who? None other than the Maelstrom. Ah, colorful. Yeah. And then, a grenade took her arm. That was the end of it. Happened during an attack on a Hampson oil freighter. How do you know that? I worked security on that freighter. I fired the shell. You did what? Jesus. Does she know? Uh-huh. When I first got here, 
Arvati walked right up to me. You know what she said? Good shot. Right. Well, that settles it. I'm in love. Looks like a smartwatch battery. It's so fully integrated with the hardware that most laymen could take it apart and never even notice. Sean Rose might be an uptight, self-righteous prick, but he is a true artist. Fine, he's an artist, but he's still a bloody coward. Bomb makers. Never liked them, never will. So what's this I hear about a training accident? That would be Burgess, the sharpshooter. He's point man in the Mexico operation. Huh. Got clipped by a ram or something? The team trains with a battering ram to simulate the attack on Secretary Torres' motorcade. I don't know. I guess old Burgess had his head up his ass. Nine out of ten accidents happen in the home. They do say that. Anyway, the guy was lucky. Sprained his ankle, that's all. He'll be back in a couple. So does uh, Rose still supervise the training? Sure, why? Well, if we ever want to get rid of Rose without the boss knowing, I guess uh, Burgess just taught us how. Huh. I like your thinking. Tell Parvati, eh, man? It'll yeah. make her day. Go check on Burgess. As soon as the meds kick in, um, he just drives his ass back. And he's gonna have a Not until we have a full team. Let's just keep it Looks a bit out of place, doesn't she? I mean, let's be honest, none of us are here. Penelope Graves. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to HQ. Sean Rose. You're a tough man to find. Mm, please. <laughs> You're Interpol's best counter-terrorist. You should have tracked me down months ago. No. You didn't want to catch me. But what happened, Graves? Sympathy for the devil? Something like that. Is that why the boss chose me, I wonder? Because of our... conflicting past? You're the analyst. But this whole enemies united thing... I think he finds it poetic. He's funny like that. Great man, though. Not what the world wants, perhaps. But sure as hell what it needs. Anyway. Get yourself up to speed. Will do. Oh, by the way, those bodyguards you assigned, that seems like an unnecessary precaution, doesn't it? I'd appreciate some privacy for my thinking. Hmm. I think they're necessary. We'll talk again later. We trust in you, Private. Everything seems fine. Uh. 
Oh, did I tell you? I found another one yesterday. Another one? Oh, do tell. Okay, so you know how Rose keeps his desk tidy like a Japanese garden, right? Anyway. Well done, 47. Rose should be in for an explosive surprise next time he checks his email. Email. Boom. Sean Rose confirmed down. Nicely done, 47. We have a situation here. That was an explosion. Safety's off. Move, move. Roger will call. Another life lost. Is that? Don't you dare mess up this fucking day more than it already is.
So I just found out that Pravati was a Tamil tiger. Those were some seriously hard work. I'm beginning to see how she got so rough around the edge. Oh, you were at Jordan Cross's funeral, huh? Oh, it was a thing of beauty. Whole team moving like clockwork. Perfect execution. Thomas Cross was off site before his guard even noticed. Oh, man, I wish I could have been there. So who's this next target? Gustavo Torres. Secretary of the Interior, one of the United's top operatives in Latin America. Rose wants a classic motorcade attack, harsh, loud, fast. So we ram Torres's vehicle, then lay down suppressive fire with Burgess, the point man, takes out Torres and his entourage. All right, sounds like a plan. So what's your son? Uh, Berlin, I think, with uh, Reynard. That's all I know. Honestly, as long as I can get to hunt down one of those fat cat assholes, I don't even care. I'm back. Well, well, our very own punching bag. Any broken bones? Wounded pride, that's all. Good to hear. All right, head over to the briefing area. We'll resume in a moment. All right, finally ready to get this show on the road. Kind of a shame that Rose won't be here to see it. But the show must go on. I expect you all to know this by heart. But in case amnesia has set in, here's the sequence. Advance to the car with haste. Eliminate the passengers. Retrieve the briefcase. Extract. Got that? And remember, speed and accuracy is the name of the game. All right. Now go pick up your weapons and get in position. Move out. Maya Parvati is down. Good work. So this test that Rose has planned seems kind of cruel, doesn't it? I mean, I'm no softy or anything, but it feels excessive to me. She's got it coming. And nobody can switch sides like Graves and, and just expect to be accepted. Tests are in order, man. Yeah, sure, I get that. But playing on her past with Interpol like that? I... I don't know, man. But I just hope the technician knows how to act. She used to be the enemy. I, I don't have any sympathy for that. I'm sure he'll be fine. He's got the badge, right? Yeah, he showed it to me over by the tent. Rehearsed his lines, too. He's taking this pretty seriously. Should be in the clear. <laughs> It'll be interesting to see if she takes the hook. And not to mention how far she'll go. You think she'll order us to be removed? If she does, I got a 45 cal with her initials on it. I hear you.
the satellite reception. Oh, okay. Uh, wait. Uh, how about now? What's up? Just cross your fingers that the damn thing doesn't fail again. Rose gets a lot of important phone calls. He gets mad as hell when the antenna's down. Guess he and the boss should have thought of that before they moved HQ to the middle of friggin' nowhere. Of course reception's crap out here. We barely have indoor plumbing as it is. <laughs> Not a country boy, huh? Huh, <laughs> yeah. So what's wrong with the relay station, anyway? So you're all set for the sting? Sure. Put a badge in my pocket, prep my lines. Shouldn't be a problem. Almost game time. Um, you, uh, think you can hook her? Graves is new. She comes by every two seconds to check on her work. She's paranoid enough to bite. So Rose basically wants you to pretend you're with Interpol, uh, get her to come with you, uh, and then what? I'm supposed to lure her to the slurry pit and tell her to roll over on Rose and the rest of us. Try to get her to turn on us. Be interesting to see how she reacts. Is she gonna ask the guys there to shoot me, or will she give up everything? Yeah, it's a big decision. What if she takes the bait? What if Rose is gonna find her and kick her ass, I imagine? Nah, it's not helping. I wonder if it's a satellite. Alright, get the signal now. Back up here. I'm off to the bathroom, not feeling too. Ugh. Nah, sorry buddy. Security's high as you know, so this area is a no-go at the moment. Penelope, it's Berg. Dr. Berg? I didn't recognize you in your work. That's your idea. So, I take it you find one that rose. Way I hear it, you were on the boat. Sean is dedicated, creative, driven. You don't have to sugarcoat it. The man's an extreme. We've seen the Shanghai plan kidnapping children, forcing the innocent man to commit the murder. It's based on it. Rose has no honor, no sense of fear. Boss, ask me here.
Penelope Graves, we need to talk. Your, uh, what is this? I'll explain everything at the slurry pit. It will be in your best interest to do as I say. I understand. I'll see you there. That's what I'm saying, man. Getting away from the harsh world out there, you know? Mm. That's what football's all about. No, I'm going to the mile high, man. Miss Graves, you are being recruited back into Interpol as an insider. What? I... Who are you anyway? How did you find me? That is not important. Think about this carefully. You could provide us with valuable intel. If you cooperate, the agency will overlook your unfortunate transgression. Report direct... And what if I refuse, huh? If I scream and get the guards here? I wouldn't do that if I were you. Might prove unhealthy I'll give you a few moments to think about it good work 47 this should give her something to think about okay look it's very sweet of you to follow me around on Rose's request but oh guess what I'm a big girl I can handle myself for a few minutes all right thank you Think, Graves. How did they get to you? Flight out of Lyon under assumed name. Passport provided through Delgado and that vanisher guy. It looked clean. Changed clothes at JFK and again at Denver International. Charred the passport after leaving the hotel. Burner phone was dropped before I left the flight, so it can't possibly be that. Diplomatic car out of Denver. Nothing unusual about the bus ride met up with Hall in the middle of nowhere, burned everything. I saw her do it. There's... there's no way. Hackers erased everything here day one. No money, no paper trails, no digital signatures. It's just not possible. It's not possible. <gasps> Graves is down. Excellent work, 47. Hey, brother. What's up? So I've started practicing breathing under water. If I train hard enough, I've heard that I'll develop gills after a while. 
couple of years, I should be able to easily breathe underwater. So, you gotta be dying to know. What's the secret, huh? Are you serious? I, I honestly think you are in need of professional help. Right here, right now. You know, I ought to put a few rounds in you, friend. Maybe you'd stop being such a dick. Yeah, you suck. Okay, okay, relax. I'm sorry, okay? This day has just sucked since I got out of bed this morning. It's not your fault, you know. Sorry, my friend, sorry. Why, Ezra, that's very... Ezra Berg has been eliminated. Good work, 47. The plot thickens. Someone left in a hurry. Sean Rose was not the Shadow Client. That much is clear. Whoever commands the militia, they got out just in time. Look around, 47. We're getting closer. Someone's done their homework. Look how far it dates back. Hayamoto, Beldingford, Delvade. The Shadow Client has been tracking you for decades. Now how is that possible? It isn't. Every one of those missions were branded as unsolved or accidents. He must have been looking for a pattern, a certain M.O. Which would mean... He knows me. Well, at least this shortens the list.
some kind of network. Power players from all sectors. Familiar faces, too. Thomas Cross, Klaus Strandberg, Ether. And that's missing banker Eugene Cobb. Well, well. There's a name. Providence. What? No. No, it can't be. The Hidden Hand. Thought they were a myth. A hypothesis, nothing more. The idea that a small cabal of kingmakers, controlling enough corporate and political leaders, could effectively run the world in secret. Maybe not so hypothetical. Keep looking, 47. We need full disclosure. Found something. Sodas? But that would mean... Providence has infiltrated ICA. And Eric Sodas is their operative. Bastard! It all fits! He was the one who persuaded the rest of the ICA board to greenlight this operation. This changes everything. Get out, 47. We got what we came for. What about the Shadow Client? He is no longer our primary concern. ICA has been compromised. I always wondered if Providence was real, but I never actually... I will need to confer with the board, but mark my words, 47. This will have consequences. Rose is gone. It was me, wasn't it? They tracked me. I don't believe it. I took every precaution. Rose knew the risks. They all do. You did well, Olivia. I am proud of you. Now listen. The ICA knows about you. They kept you alive because they needed you, and now they don't. We won't talk again. Not until the storm is over. I don't like it. This man you know what he's capable of. You need to end this now. I ran away as a boy. My friend and I, away from that place. We came upon a small farming community. The people were dirt poor, but this woman, she took us in. We were awakened the next morning by the shots. A dozen people lay face down in the snow. Our warden didn't like to leave witnesses. They shot the woman and her family last. They made sure that we watched the whole thing. This is your gift, the warden told us. Your gift and your curse. Touching lives only by ending them. You know him. Better than anyone. Good morning, 47. The board has sanctioned Eric Soda's for termination. After Colorado, we did some digging into Soda's private affairs and discovered that he has been fast-tracked for critical heart surgery at the hyper-exclusive Gama Private Hospital in Hokkaido, Japan. Such a display of power has Providence written all over it. Soda's, who suffers from a rare condition known as situs inversus, where his internal organs are reversed, desperately needs a right-sided heart transplant and has clearly betrayed the ICA to get it. He was admitted last night and is currently being prepped for a three-day surgery. We have booked you into Gama under the usual guise of Tobias Reaper, corporate shark, here for a standard medical checkup. As such, you will need to play it by ear and procure whatever tools you need to complete the mission. You also need to eliminate Yuki Yamazaki, a Tokyo lawyer who works for Providence. Sodas has already given Yamazaki access to our client records and has agreed to provide a full list of active ICA operatives post-operation. This transaction cannot be allowed to happen. Sodas must pay for his treachery 
and his insidious employers must be taught a lesson. ICA's sovereignty is at stake. Powerful as Providence may be, we need to draw a line in the sand. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Hokkaido 47. The Gama Private Hospital provides cutting-edge medical treatment for the global elite outside the law if required. The facility is partially run by an artificial intelligence system known as Kai. The AI oversees patient admission to various areas in the hospital and even participates in some medical procedures. You will find Eric Soders in the operating theater, undergoing a pre-surgery regenerative stem cell treatment, a highly controversial procedure yet to be approved by Japanese authorities. Yuki Yamazaki has already arrived. You'll find her in her suite or roaming the restaurant and spa areas of the hospital. Sodas is scheduled to be put under soon. Let us make sure he stays that way. Good luck, 47. Hello, Mr. Reaper. As part of the service here at Gamma, your personal robe has been outfitted with a radio frequency identification. No key cards are needed at all. I hope you're enjoying your stay. Genki Deska. but I just got informed that I have been bumped back in the queue. Oh, and that's, that's got to be an error, right? Did you talk to the instructor? Well, that's the thing. I haven't actually seen him all day. And then I asked one of the staff members, and she checked the schedule. Turns out all appointments are booked by... Good evening. Hmm, konbawa. Bit of privacy. Hey, what are you? Uh, open this door. Uh, are you insane? Let me out right now. Let me out. <gasps> no. Target down. 
Now it's time for Sodas to retire. Mr. Jason Portman, please come to the hospital entrance. A doctor will escort you to your checkup. That was for Mr. Jason Portman. A doctor will escort you to your appointment. Please proceed to the hospital entrance. <laughs>
Hey, so... You're the curator's research aide, right? Let me guess. You want to know about the medical trial? Investigate impossible disturbance. Over. Oh, final holy shit. I thought I was going to turn into a popsicle. That you, was Mr. Very Smith. Handsomely rewarded. Not that Wait, fully you... The of the you were at the Pinecone Place in California. Oh, that goes I didn't know say. better. I'd I say you were following me. But you do, so you won't. Right. Younger, frankly. So, there are only so many what the hell are you doing now, here? After all. No? Silent type, right? Yeah, me first. Okay. Such is the nature All right. Of my art. I take I'm with Interpol I now. I was working a case, organ harvesting, real bad business. And I followed the trail from Rio, but Dr. Ito, uh, he's the one they call the curator. He found me snooping around and locked me up in the freezer. Okay, now you. You should get out of here. <laughs> yeah, good advice. That's that's right. Oh wait. I found this in the curator's office. Knowing you, it'll probably come in handy. Thanks. No, thank you. That's thrice I owe you. Good hunting. Okay, now to lay low, get some warmth back.
about you, Director? Dependency sequence failure detected. System is rebooting. That's both targets down. Time to find an exit. We're done here. Miss Burnwood. 
That's not what my ticket says. We received your message. Loud and clear, I might add. Honestly, you could have just sacked the poor guy. I didn't catch your name. No, you didn't. There'll be no retaliation, not for Soders, nor any other recent fiascos. Someone's been meddling in our affairs, killing our operatives, and making the ICE look like fools. I think you got close to that someone, closer than we've ever been. That's why we're hiring you to take him down. I don't think so. Don't rattle our cages, Miss Burnwood. You really have no idea. You spy on us, bribe our people, and you have the gall to demand our help. No. You can't be trusted. Even so, we've been around for a long, long time. I think we could help each other. Some 20 years ago, your agency took in a young man with no past and extraordinary skills. In his own special way, he cares about you and vice versa. And ever since that time, you've never stopped wondering where he came from and who made him what he is. There was a doctor, some depraved experiment, but he's gone now. Ah. Well, if you believe the questions died with him, we have nothing further to discuss. If not, as I said, I think we could help each other. Partners, then. Cheer up, Miss Burnwood. We, we are the lesser evil. This terrorist, he wants nothing but chaos. He's only a terrorist if you win. Miss Burnwood, we won a long time ago. This, this is maintenance.